Hello, my name is Quran, a clinical counselor and a clinical supervisor. This is the video number two uh, regarding compassion focused therapy. I want to in this video talk about why compassion is actually uh, helpful, uh, whereas in the first video I talked about the challenges with uh, co uh, compassion uh, idea. So uh, if we learn to trust ourselves, I'm talking about if we cannot trust our communities or the societies we live in because it's unsafe and because uh, we, uh, they are using systematic violence against us. So how can we use the compassion to help ourselves and in terms of dealing with anxiety, depression, mental health challenges? How can we help uh, our family members to uh, gain more respect and uh, uh, kindness towards themselves for not being hard on themselves, for understanding that the decisions that we make at times is not mm, always, uh, it's about how we make them. Yes, it is. We make the decisions. However, at times we, we make decisions based on what we have um, and uh, what is available to us. If we cannot make better decisions at times means that uh, we don't have enough resources or support um, from the uh, system that we live in. It's important, I keep talking about system because at times we think that we, um, we have control over our life. However, honestly, we don't. Um, I'm sorry to say that at times we don't have control. There are so many things that are decided for us and how can we, in, the, in terms of uh, adjust ourselves to what is available to us what do we have control over is ourselves we can adjust ourselves to being uh, more uh, motivated in the, for uh, understanding how things are going for us instead of hurting ourselves uh, which is the uh, depression and anxiety is about and people who get into suicidal ideation they are hating themselves for uh, it's situation that they have not been able to manage if it's personal, interpersonal relationship, community-based relationship, unemployment, addiction, substance use, and uh, challenges. And people cannot um, kind of um, uh, forgive themselves, that forgiveness or kindness or compassion that people need um, would help them to have a motivation for improvements. And that's the, where the conversation goes. How can we motivate ourselves to understand ourselves better and forgive ourselves for the decisions that we have made and have not been the best? Uh, yes, many decisions we have made perhaps have uh, led to failures at times, challenges, hardships, and um, loss of uh, uh, opportunities perhaps, yes, and uh, what, um, what can we do uh, to kind of learn that our emotions are valid, or yes, if you say that, yes, um, I, I'm upset about myself, I have done all these failures, I have done all these bad decisions, and you're saying that I cannot forgive myself, okay, sure, your emotions are valid, if you cannot forgive yourself, that's okay, However, how can you live with yourself better? How can you use a little bit of self-compassion to live with yourself, with the reality of the decisions you have made and the reality of challenges you have, you're encountering? So um, that's where the uh, uh, compassion comes in. It's going to help us to, to turn the self-critical tone in ourselves into a self-dialogue, a better dialogue, being realistic. We are not going to uh, lure ourselves or say or, or live in a wishy-washy land that no, 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 nothing happened. Yes, things happen and we make bad decisions. How can we be realistic, be uh, opportunistic in terms of finding opportunities for ourselves to feel better, deal with ourselves better, accepting ourselves better, creating a new story of the stories that we have and they're in our head with the abuse we have gone through, with the 
uh, childhood uh, hardships we have gone through, with the abandonments we have gone through, with the cultural invasions uh, that we have gone through, with the invasions of our home countries, and uh, loss of communities, loss of neighborhoods, loss of homes, all the losses, all, all these losses, of course, uh, cause us to fear more, fear and sense of uh, uh, constant threat that something else is coming. Yes, at times, unfortunately, some communities that are unsafe, bad things happening. However, is everything because you make that bad decision? No, it's because there are things that you do not have control over. And th therefore, if you kind of gather yourself to what you have control, which is you controlling your mind, your view, your uh, opinions, your attitudes towards yourself and life, and uh, allowing yourself to feeling the emotions you have, expressing them, talking to someone, and see what you can change. Small steps, baby steps. What are the first step? Uh, what is the first step you can change something? Then you will see that there is a chain of uh, change that are coming, right? That's how change, change work. If we change one thing, if our car is broken, one tire is broken, the car doesn't, uh, we cannot drive it, right? It's not safe to drive it anyways. However, once we mm, mm, uh, uh, kind of repair that tire, put it back, the car is functional again. So what can we change about ourselves to become uh, functional? And how can we be kinder, nicer, more gentle to ourselves, accepting our failures without being too critical that is um, kind of hurting and uh, hurting more, uh, isolating us and uh, not allowing us to kind of uh, live the life that we all deserve. A life of, um, I would say, in balance. Balance is not, uh, doesn't mean that we let go of the negativity. No, 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 we can never let go of negativity. However, we can turn them into a realistic view about self, others, communities, and our uh, situations. Take care.